Welcome to another video. So here we have a system of equations and we're supposed to compute the sum of all possible values of x squared plus y squared. So a question like this is hard only when you don't know how many of such values are going to exist. So the best strategy is to avoid testing numbers because if you test numbers, you might get maybe one answer or two answers or three answers, but there's no way to know how many values of x squared plus y squared you are there or are possible. So that's where this kind of question, you don't want to test numbers. What you want to do is manipulate what you have to get what you want. Let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is inspect what I have. What is it telling me? I have x cubed equals 3x plus y. There's a y here. And the second equation is exactly the same thing as the first equation. It's just that the x is switched with the y. So you can see the symmetric nature of it. Now you start thinking, what if x is equal to y? Or what if x is not equal to y? But again, there's the trivial solution. Remember I told you always try zero every time you get any, any equation. Always say, what if everything is zero? Would it be true? If x is zero and y is zero, would it be true? Yes. Okay, if it's gonna be true, well, it's a trivial solution and it does not give us a value, it's zero. So when you compute the sum, adding zero to anything else you get doesn't change anything. So I wouldn't spend time trying to do zero. So what would I do? What I'm gonna do is, why don't we try and add the two equations together and see what comes out of it because it would be the sum of two cubes. So let's look at it. So I'm gonna add this to this. I'm gonna have x cubed plus y cubed. And what I have on the right is gonna be, so if we add this to this, we're gonna get 4x. Oh, if you add this to this, you get 4x. Add this to this, you get 4y. So it's like four into x plus y. That's what we get here. And, I see x plus y on the right hand side, I can generate x plus y from the factoring of the sum of two cubes. So here, I think I would move this over. So here, if I factor this, I'm gonna get x plus y, and then I have x squared plus xy plus y squared. Okay, now instead of writing equals this, I'm gonna move it over here and say minus four times x plus y equals zero. That's what I have by doing the sum. Now I see x plus y here, x plus y here. In fact, that's a fast way to get an answer. Nice. So I'm going to say x plus y. If you factor it out, what's going to be left will be this minus four. So I'm going to have x squared plus xy plus y squared minus 4 is equal to 0. So, clearly I have x plus y is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. So let's start with x plus y equals 0. x plus y is equal to 0 implies that x is equal to minus y. So that is a possible solution when x is equal to negative y. Now we can quickly investigate what that, what's gonna happen if that's true. Let's go to the first equation. If we test this, we're gonna have x cubed, or we say negative x is equal to y. In fact, x is negative y. Let's just write it as negative y, or we can test it here, okay? So if we test it in equation two, instead of writing um, x, we write negative y. So we're gonna say y cubed, is equal to 3y. So instead of writing x, we're going to write minus y. So this means that y cubed is equal to 2y minus 2y is equal to 0. We factor, we have y into y minus 2 
is equal to zero. So there's a trivial solution. No, something is wrong. Y squared. Come on. Terrible factory. So this is a trivial solution because we get y equals zero and we said it doesn't help us in the sum because it doesn't bring anything to the table. Here we have y squared minus two equals zero and from this solution we have y equals zero or y equals plus or minus the square root of two. So with this we can go back and say that it means that you have, oh no, we just need y squared. Okay, we, we got that. So we're gonna get, what would x be? Remember, x is the negative sign of y, so it means we have, when x is the opposite sign, negative square root of two, y is gonna be two, so it will be square root of two. We also have when x is square root of two, y is gonna be negative, square root of 2. Okay, so with this we get solutions and we can do the squares of x and y, but we found the solution. We're going to come back and figure this out. Okay, um, and what does this mean? So this implies that x squared plus y squared is equal to what? The square of this would be 2, the square of this would be, uh, equals 4. So this is one solution. And this solution is based on this that we got from the first part of this equation, okay? Don't forget the second part of this equation is that we're going to have this being equal to zero. Is there a way we can get x squared plus y squared from here? It's going to be xy. It's going to go to the other side. Let's get x squared plus y squared first. So here it means x squared plus y squared will be equal to 4 minus xy, okay? Let's leave this here. Let's, let's keep this box. Let's, let me box this. So maybe we're gonna get something on the other side. So let's go back to what we have. What I started with was to add both equations. What if we subtract? Because we're gonna get the difference of two cubes and we're gonna get another factory and it looks like it's gonna help us. So let's subtract. <clears throat> so we have x squared minus y, x cubed minus y cubed rather, is equal to, we're subtracting now, this minus this is gonna be equal to 2x, and this minus this will be minus 2x. So it's gonna be two into x minus y. I mean minus 2y rather, so that's what you have. And we're gonna generate the same factor here, so we're gonna have x minus y times x squared, minus x squared minus um, x squared plus. Oh, my factoring was wrong. What did I do? This factoring was wrong. This was supposed to be minus. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, okay. That was terrible. Uh, don't make my mistake, okay? Now, this is correct. And this is going to be xy plus y squared. And then if you pull this here, it's going to be minus 2 times x minus y, you get equal 0. So if we do the same kind of factoring we did here, it's going to be x minus y, we're taking this out, and it's going to be times x squared plus xy plus y squared um, minus 2 equals 0. So if you deal with the first part, which is x minus y equals 0, it means x equals y, so we have x is equal to y, or x squared plus xy is equal to, if I move this over, it's going to be 2 minus xy. <coughs> this was 4 plus xy. Oh, I already see something. Now, let's break this down here. If we go by x being equal to y, what's going to happen is, let's just say x is the same thing as y. So, if x equals y, we can use the first equation. It means x cubed equals 3x plus, instead of writing y, I'm going to write x. So that means x cubed equals 4x. That means <clears throat> we can factor 
or pull everything to one side, x cubed minus 4x is equal to 0, and that means x times x squared minus 4 equals 0. So x equals 0 is a trivial solution. We're going to ignore that and focus on this. If x squared minus 4 equals 0, then x is plus or minus 2, right? So we have x equals plus or minus 2, okay? And that means y is exactly equal to x, which is equal to y also. So we're going to have a case where x equals plus or minus 2, y also is plus or minus 2. Or we can just say x squared is equal to 4, which is also equal to y. Okay, that's a better way. Instead of solving it completely, leave it, leave it. We're, I'm just going to let it be, okay? So that means we got another solution, x squared plus y squared. So the square of x is going to be 4. The square of y is also going to be 4, and that means it is equal to 8. This is a second possible solution. So the first one is 4, the second one is 8. So now let's go here. Now observe something that we found. We found that x squared plus y squared is 4 plus xy. We have also found that x squared plus xy, sorry, where is it? Not xy, plus y squared, plus y squared. Ah, x squared plus y squared. So what we need essentially is x squared plus y squared. And we have one here, we have one here. If I subtract the two equations, x, x squared plus y squared will disappear. So you don't want to subtract, you want to add to preserve it. So if I add this equation to this equation, see what's going to happen. This plus this is going to give me 2 into x squared plus y squared. And then if I add the right hand side to this right hand side, it's going to be 6. And this one is going to cancel this out so that that's all you have equals 6, which means that x squared plus y squared will be equal to 6 divided by 2, which is 3. And this is another solution. So the, and that's it. We've used up everything that we have here. So that means the possible values of x squared plus y squared are we started with 0 from the first trivial one. Where is it? Remember, even from guessing, OK? Just plugging in 0. You notice that if x is 0 and y is 0, these two equations are going to be true. So 0 is a possible answer. 8 was the next. The next one was 4. The next one was 8. And the last one is 3. So sum will be equal to 0 plus 4, plus 8, plus 3, which is equal to 11 plus 4, 15. And this is what we've been looking for. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.